Okay, this video is about batch editing raw files. So you shot a thousand pictures at the football game and they all need to be brightened. What do you do? Do you spend eternity editing them individually? Absolutely not. You batch edit them. The steps to do that might seem kind of complicated, but I'm going to walk you through them in the video. They are also written out on Hesperia Online and it's definitely a more efficient way of editing when you have a lot of pictures that need very similar editing. So here we go, to begin. You're going to go and open a sample picture from the ones that need to be worked on and make sure that it's one that looks like most of those you will be editing. So pick one that's a good example that looks like a lot of the other pictures. So I only have a couple pictures here just for a demo, but they all look very similar, so I'm going to open this first one. It's a raw file, so it will open in Photoshop with the raw interface in the front. Okay, then you're going to adjust using Camera Raw. So over here, there's a lot of tabs to use. Starting with the basic tab, you might want to work on exposure, fill light, saturation, vibrance, clarity. Especially if your picture's too dark, you're going to work on exposure. That's going to brighten it up. So basically make this picture look good using these edits. You can try auto and see if the computer does a pretty good job. You can also go into the Detail tab, which is the one with the triangles. And that's where you would do some noise reduction. So if you shot at a really high ISO, you could reduce the luminance noise or the color noise and kind of play with this until it looks pretty good. You'll notice over here it says, for a more accurate preview, zoom the preview size to 100% or larger when adjusting these controls. That's because at 20%, I can't really see what's happening, but if I zoom in, 50. Okay, this is 100%. It's really, really close. In here, I can see just what's happening as I'm really messing with these. So adjust your Detail tab and your ex Basic Exposure tab until you're happy with it, and then you're going to click the Open Image button. It will open it in Photoshop, and at this point, we're just going to close it without saving, which seems weird, but it's important. File, close. Okay, so then you're going to make a new folder on your desktop and you're going to call it Edits or Batch Editing. Oh, no, I don't want to save that. I already did this, so here's my Batch Edits folder that's on my desktop. So go ahead and make one of those. Seems weird to put it on the desktop, but it should make it so that you don't have to repeat these steps too many more times. Now you're going to open your Actions tab in Photoshop. If it's not showing, you go to Window actions and make sure there's a check there. Okay, so here's your actions tab. And you're going to make a new actions folder. So we've already got these default ones. I'm going to close those up. And there's some that I downloaded. We're going to make our own today. So click on the little folder button and we're going to give it a name. Call it whatever you want. It's yours. Okay, so now I have a folder. Now we're going to make a new action in that folder, and it looks like this little white piece of paper. Go ahead and click it. Give your action a name. Maybe name it the date of all your pictures or brightening. Whatever you think this batch editing is going to do to most pictures. Now as soon as you click record, everything that you do in Photoshop is being recorded. So you want to make sure that you don't do anything that you don't want to save. So I'm going to click record, and now I'm going to do all the things that I'm going to want Photoshop to do for me in a couple minutes. So the first thing I'm going to want Photoshop to do is open my raw files. So I'll go to the folder that they're in and open one of them. And then you're going to click on the little lines button, which is right here by the word basic, and you're going to choose previous conversion. The reason you're doing that is we already went in and edited this picture and we made it look good. Photoshop remembered those steps so if I choose previous conversion it's going to make it look like it did when I was in here messing around with the sliders so it will use the previous conversion to edit it. Then I'm going to click open image this is all being recorded here so in this brightening action you can start to see the things I'm doing show up. Then in Photoshop you're gonna go file save as because this is a raw file and we want to save it as a JPEG. 
And the place that I want to save it is my edits folder right here. That's on my desktop. And I want to save it as JPEG. Okay. And then click save. And then of course we want these to be maximum quality files. Say okay. So that file is saved and you can see that here. And then I'm going to close. I can do file close, but here's a little tip. Control W closes files. It's nice and quick. And then I'm going to click the stop button in the actions tab to say I'm done recording. That's what I want Photoshop to do now over and over and over on every single picture. Okay. So if I go to bridge up here, bridge is like a, a part of a, the Adobe suite. No, I don't want it to do this. So I'm going to go to my batch folder, the folder that has the pictures that I want to batch edit. Yours will have lots more. I wouldn't really batch edit if I only had five pictures, but if I had a thousand or five hundred, I would for sure. Okay, so I'm going to select all the files to be edited. So I already did that first one, so I'm going to select everything else. Or on the keyboard, you could do a control A. Let's try that. And then hold down control and deselect that first one that you already did. And then you're going to go to Tools, Photoshop, Batch. And it should navigate to that file, or that action that you already just made. So that should already be filled in here. And if it's not, choose it. Then you're going to check all of the boxes here. Oh, yep, we get it. Okay. And then in Destination, you're going to select Folder. And then you're going to click Choose, and you're going to choose that folder that you made so that the pictures are going to be edited and immediately saved in that folder where the other one is. Then you're going to check to override save. Yep, OK. And then you're going to click OK. And hopefully what should happen is Photoshop should start editing your pictures for you, saving them in that folder, closing them. It's just going to happen in the background. You can just sit and watch, or you can leave it and let this go on its own. So we'll see. Opens one, edits, closes, opens another, edits it, closes, and so on. And if I look at my edits folder, the pictures just kind of start popping up in here until it's totally done. So that's batch editing. I probably went really fast, so you can watch it again or maybe pause as I'm going step by step. But that is going to save you a ton of time if you have editing that needs to be done to every picture that is very similar editing.